Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose and today we're going to be talking about uh, Aurora written by Juno Diaz. This short story is coming from the Drown Story collection um, and it's a very tough read not because uh, the language or the content is difficult to comprehend. It's, it's a tough read because the things that the characters go through throughout this work are very um, difficult um, and they're very real. It's, it's real things that um, you could see people going through and many people go through it around the world. Um, so basically in this work what happens is we meet an individual by the name of Lucero. Lucero is the narrator of Aurora uh, and he is a drug dealer. Uh, he, he's, he does a lot of bad things within this work but since he's writing uh, or since he's our narrator he kind of like brushes them off where he doesn't really depict them uh, as being as terrible as they are. Uh, you know, he's a drug dealer. Uh, his best friend or his partner in crime, Cut, uh, is his friend. And they're all about, um, you know, selling um, narcotics to the youth within the part of New Jersey that they live in and also selling them to adults, um, older people. Um, competition is tough. They, they live a pretty, you know, uh, on the edge life. They're hiding from the law and they're also, um, well, they're all, they're always on a high alert, watching the streets, watching where they are. Um, they have competition cut, uh, Lucero's, um, partner within this work. He gets stabbed within the work. And um, we get a picture of a part of New Jersey where a lot of Dominicans live. Um, it's a, it's a low-income community. There's a lot of drugs, sex, prostitution, um, and just like a, a very poor neighborhood, a very poor part of New Jersey, uh, and you know, pretty much a bunch of young people who are not who are barely eighteen um, or in their early twenties. They're just you know playing dominoes or you know, doing everything that they could, can, whatever they, you know, whatever they need to do to survive. And Lucero, he paints this picture where, you know, he's um, on the street, he's doing all this and that. Uh, and he has this relationship with uh, a girl by the name of Aurora. And Aurora is, you know, her life is very sad. She's been um, in juvie. Um, she has a drug addiction. Um, and, you know, her life is just not wonderful. She has a mother, but um, it seems as if her and her family are not in the best terms. Uh, they do exist, but they're not really taking care of her as they should. Um, and this drug problem is really bringing her down. Um, and especially when she's, you know, she has, you know, within this work, we see that she has more than one boyfriend. Uh, she's sleeping with them. Sometimes it's protected. Sometimes it's not. Um, so, you know, we're introduced to a world by Lucero that's tough, difficult, um, and, you know, these teenagers are living a life that's just not, it's not glamorous at all. Um, the, the thing that comes up with this short story is that uh, Lucero and his girlfriend, you know, Aurora, they have a horrible relationship. Their relationship, you know, he supplies... Um, you know, narcotics to her. Uh, she has an addiction. He's selling it. They smoke it together. Uh, they spend time together. Their relationship is mostly about money, sex, and, um, you know, kind of like evading everything. Uh, they break into apartments. They go in, into people's private property. Uh, they spend time with each other. They do a lot of different things and then the third that could have gotten in them in trouble but it, it didn't get them in trouble um you can see that they do a lot of things that uh you know they do a lot of things that are on the edge um they're just not uh, good for their well-being or their futures or anything um and their relationship is a cycle it, within the short story you see that they'll they'll only see each other for twice or maybe a couple times a month um, and the times that they see each other, sometimes they fight. Uh, there's a there's a one you know sentence. Uh, there's, a, there's a sentence where Lucero tells us that he beat her once, and she tried to like you know stab him with a pen. Uh, and, and so their relationship gets violent. It gets uh, um, you know fists get involved, arguments get involved, 
drugs get involved. Um, and it's a very tough story. Um, you, you see that, you know, she had a, she had, she got pregnant, uh, and the baby, they didn't have the baby. Um, but you can see that the things that are going on with these teenagers, I mean, Aurora is barely 17. Uh, and so it's all the things they're doing, uh, are ruining their lives, are making them seep into this darkness and the pretty much based on the cycle that we're introduced to within the short story, there's no end in sight. Uh, it's not going to end anytime soon. Um, it's not going to end anytime soon. Um, it's in a perpetual cycle uh, of them fighting, uh, them, you know, you know, using narcotics uh, and, um, you know, them continuing to abuse each other when they're both, they're both are bad for each other. Um, a drug dealer and an addict are they just don't work they're pretty much destroying each other's well-being uh and there's no end in sight uh, so this is a very tough story it kind of ends pretty much the same place where we started this idea that maybe things will get better but it won't uh and you know at the end of the work Aurora is pretty much you know she's not she hasn't changed i mean we she get an invitation to her mother's wedding um it seems like maybe so she'll have a better future because of that since her mom is getting married and maybe there's going to be more finances and maybe her mom will take her back and maybe get her some help. But we're not really told that. We're not told that any of that's going to happen. Um, it's pretty much left in the same darkness that we start the short story with. Um, Lucero's still doing his thing. Uh, you know, he's still selling what he's selling. She's still an addict. Uh, and they still live in a neighborhood that is you know, filled with um, all types of things that, you know, are not pleasant. Uh, there's beer bottles uh, everywhere. There's trash everywhere. Low-income households everywhere. And it's a community where, um, you know, you could die any time. You could be taken away at any time. And, you know, um, no one's really trying to help any, anybody. Everybody's just trying to survive on their own. Uh, so it's a very tough story. Um, in terms of analysis, in terms of a deeper meaning here, uh, what one you can take from this, this short story, it's very realistic. Uh, there are a lot of teenagers, a lot of people in the United States, um, in New Jersey, in many states where there are people who face these challenges uh, at a very young age. There are many children that you know don't get to live their childhood. When you're you know between the you know between being a toddler and and you know 16, 17, you're supposed to be you know, going to school, uh, hanging out with your friends, um, planning for your future. Uh, you, you're not supposed to be, you know, facing uh, uh, the law and, and you know, um, thinking about whether you're not going to have this child or not, or um, dealing. It, it's, it's a very tough life, but, you know, some children in America and even around the world, that's the life that they get uh, when, you know, they, they are teenagers and when they are younger. Uh, and it's a very dark path, and we're not really given a light at the end of the story. Uh, we're not even told that things are going to get better. You can think that, and maybe you can find some sentences and some paragraphs that say things are going to get better, uh, but we don't have a guarantee of that. And, and what we know from history and from the reality of things is that most of the time things don't get better, uh, and, and people who live in these communities, some make it out and some, you know, meet meet their end in, in these types of communities. Uh, so it's, it's a very sad thing, um, but I guess it's not that uncommon. If you think about it around the world, um, you know, things like this poverty around the world, you know, most individuals who have ever lived, uh, you know, lived in poverty, lived in bad communities, lived in, um, in places where they had to struggle, in places where they had to do things that, uh, that were, would be considered as dark to get by. Um, there's not that many w rich and well-developed countries in the world. Um, I would say there's like 30, 31 developed countries in the world where, you know, there's there's plenty of jobs and, and there's upward mobility, but in other countries you have to really, you know, struggle and work hard and, and, and literally beat the competition to make a good living for yourself. Um, so... It's a tough reality, but this, this is the reality that most people on, live, on, on Earth live. 
um, and, and communities such as the one we're depicted, um, that's depicted within the short story in New Jersey, um, it's not, it, it's, you know, it's real matters, real things that happen to real people. Uh, so Juno Diaz with the short story, he really hits a nail on this. Uh, but at the same time, the horrors, the true horrors, the, re the, the reality of the horrors that, that are represented in real life, it's somewhat dulled within the short story uh, because Lucario kind of like, he kind of like doesn't put that same heaviness that we would get uh, with reality because he's saying he, he, he's, he's dealing, he's beating up his girlfriend uh, and he's not, you know, he doesn't depict this to us or tell us this or show us this um, in, in a voice or in a tone of, oh, oh, the horror. He really shows this as in the tone of, oh, this is my, this is my life. This is what I do. I mean, it is what it is. Um, so it, it's, it's chilling. Um, but at the same time, you see how these people, this community, this is how they exist. Um, and things don't really have, there's no, um, bright future coming ahead. Um, this this short story just really makes you dive into reality into this community and it tells you i mean some people might make it out some people might not and some people might die in the streets and yeah um it's, it's a very tough read um but but it's it's very true um in terms of like the characters and you know the relationship of aurora and and you know, and her boyfriend and the narrator, it's, it, I mean, it doesn't, from my perspective, I don't think it's going to end in a great place. I think sooner or later, one of them will, you know, face something that doesn't allow one to go back to the other. Um, yeah, because they're, they're both li living on the edge um, and they're always looking out for, for, for the law and that's no way to live. Um, they're always living with like, you know, their, their heads, uh, you know, over, a sh like, you know, your head over your shoulder, always looking, you know, looking behind your back, um, thinking if you'll live the next day, because that's how everyone in this community live. Aurora lives day by day. Uh, at some point she's homeless. Uh, she's living out of her bag. Um, you know, getting money from one boyfriend or another and um, getting, you know, narcotics from her dealer, her boyfriend, and, you know, going at it one day at a time and whatever happens, happens. And that's no way for a human being to live. But that's all I had to say about this short story and, and what happens with it and the characters and the, tr the real ma world matters that they have to face. Uh, and yeah, uh, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.